Kanza Crow versus. Oh, oh. <laughs> Confusion. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay. So here we go on Abby. You guys should know Abby by now. We've said it a lot. But uh, generally, what we expect to see is the middle be taken by scouts, heavies pushing on the west, and a singular scout using the 50 meter rule on the uh, east. Right. Yep. East, east, east. What's the 50 meter rule? I hear someone say. Uh, I don't know what that means. What it is? What is that? 50 meter rule is actually a very clever way of. And I'll go into mathematics. No. Uh, it's actually where they show uh, any tank. No matter where they are, if they're within 50 meters with you, uh, from you. So if they are um, through solid rock, you'll still spot them if they're within 50 meters. Yep, that's Ooh. it. But right now they're not taking advantage of that. They're just seeing the huh? AMX 1390 down to the Rex, and he's spotting. and that's actually a good thing because Nob have sent one guy two AMX 5100s down there. What the? Maybe they face these guys before on this map and they know their tactic because look at this, they actually have a push coming down here and Unity are red sorry, Re Unity. Red Tide are ready for it. Uh oh. Ostap Bender is at the front and he's in his AMX 5100 uh, ready and they decided to withdraw. So both the AMX 5100s, maybe it wasn't actually that. Maybe they were pushing down themselves and just ran into the enemy push of identical stretch. Oh. Whoa! What a hit from the tier 7 artillery! The Lorraine from Cobra managed to take out most of the health from Ostap Bender. That is almost game changing. Yep, and I was just about to say that actually. Will they just stay there and defend and risk an artillery shell, shell straight to the face because that is possible, as we just saw? Or do you push back and he just Holy gets taken shit. out? Yep, dead. Super dead. Oh wow, two excellent shots from Cobra. I took out Ostap Bender without him doing anything. Now this is the confusing thing with Red Tide. They have two Ostap Benders, don't they? Yes, they do. One eighty nine and one Osap Bender with a capital B. You gits, don't do that to us. <laughs> and so the other Osap Bender is running for his life, knowing that if he's spotted, the artillery is going to come down on him, just like his uh, similarly named ally. So Red Tide are not wasting any time, relocating their artillery and pushing forward with Sect and uh, YR in the AMX 1390 and the AMX 5100, both of which have taken severe damage, taken out a, a T-32, yep. and the other one's down by uh, the other AMX 5100, still Mojo. Yep. Oh, let's see the T-1 Cunningham doing some damage. Come on, come on, please, please, please. Oh, he could kill him! If he gets his turret around, he could kill him! No, uh, he's on fire. Is he on fire? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I love T1 Cunningham's, they're brilliant. Well, <laughs> that's massive. Although he died shortly thereafter by Ronnie Fowl, Frown, but uh, he still took out an AMX 1390. With, as long as they have one HP, they're super dangerous because of their reloaders. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was funny. Um... Oh, T2 Light Tank versus a Chetrak. That's not the sort of battle we expect to see in this. <laughs> Uh -oh. Ooh, he's tracked. He's tracked. Yep. Oh, but he's, he's gone. Oh, oh, auto cannons for the win here. Mhm. Mm oh my God. Uh oh. But can they? Can he? Will he? No, he yeah, just went past. Yeah, he's decided to ignore. Though he's aiming the shot now. Will he get the hit? No, he's he's decided to completely ignore him. Yep. That's interesting tactic. Considering their artillery is still alive. Mhm. Mm yes, um, the artillery is down in K nine. Oh, but here we go, an aim is 5100, just waiting for him. First shot, missed. What? Uh, I think Second he just fired missed. off some flares. <laughs> Third, Third shot, shot, missed. Oh my god. He just he wasted away? half a, sh a magazine. Oh Honestly, my god. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, we got tracked. Oh, and killed. I have no idea where he got shot from there. The other AMX 5100 obviously back. Oh, wait a minute. Scrupped in his 4033 artillery took out Still Mojo while he was chasing the T tier 2. Nice. That's why you got to be careful stopping for that tier 2 that's running through your base like a headless chicken. Yep. Really got to be careful. But I couldn't even see that 5100. It wasn't on my minimap. So he just shot where he was after, after he, um, he saw him the first time. 
this is this is this is actually really close battle. It could go either way still. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought Red Tide were finished once they lost Otak Bender right at the start by two artillery shells. I thought yep. that they got no chance, surely. But it's down to a damaged AMX 1390, an AMX 5100 is down to 1000 health, and uh, Lorraine versus a T32, uh, M40, and a T1. Yep. So, hmm. anything you can think of for Red Tide to do here, uh, with, this, with the fact that we have such a nice overview of what's yeah. going on, what well, do you think they could do? Yeah, um, running away with the, the T1 is a very good thing, because if they can keep him alive, he's actually able to do some damage to the uh, to AMX 1390. Um, and the 100 yeah, on the side. Um, so... Um, not using him as a scout, forward scout, as they've done in all of their other games, um, is a very, really good tactic right now. So yeah, that's actually what I would do right now. And they knew that the uh, MX 1390 pushed to the west, but is he still over there? Will he think they know I'm here, so I'm gonna go the other way? That's yes. I think that's what I would have done. And let's see if that's what they will do. Okay, yeah. Now, the other interesting tactic is this capping maneuver. Yep. Will they move their much faster tanks? I mean, it's all French, so it's much faster from Kansas Crew. Are they just going to go around the outside and take the caps over? Yeah. We've hmm. seen that work before. Yeah, we have. Um, could work with the, um, with the fast artillery, and yeah, all of them are fast, so why not? <laughs> why not? Um... I think that the uh, chat is getting confused of who's firsting who's. They're very minutes in the past, so they're, they get to that period of time when we were like, so, so it's uh, and um, uh, it's you, uh, red tide. No, no, it's red. You, no, it is red. <laughs> <laughs> so I just explained in the chat. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's red. It's red. Yeah, red, yeah, yeah. We know who it. We know. We never got mm. confused. We knew exactly what we were doing. Exactly, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go, though. We have a heavy tank spotted in the middle. It's the AMX 5100, who is actually at max health. So it's the other one who is damaged. And the 3090 is at uh, 400 health, so he's pretty much dead if the uh, T32 gets hold of him. Although that's a bit too much for one shell, so it would have to be with Ronnie Frown with his T1 to finish him off yeah. without having to reload. Now, this is actually... Uh, I think swaying in flavor of the Kranzer crew because the reloaders, if they're all reloaded, can burst down the entire of the current Red Tide team. And Red Tide doesn't have enough firepower to deal with any one AMX off the bat. So, I've got to give it at the moment, the favor is definitely weighing in for Kranzer crew. And no, they're not within eight points. So if Red Tide go for the draw right now without losing anybody, they can have a draw. So this is super tight. Uh, I've got to say the favors leaning towards the AMXs, but that, as we've seen so many times, just require a couple of bounces off the front of the T32 to change. Kazna. Oh, okay. It is Kazna. So why am I saying Kazna? Yeah, it's... Uh... Whoops. It's Kazna. Uh, on our display, high fly if you're there. Oh, nope, he's not. <laughs> you can hear giggles in the background, so there we are. Uh, we have uh, nothing going on right now, so don't worry about that. But it is Kaz Kazna crew, not Kanza crew. Kazna crew. It looks like we're going to have the action any second now. Oh, massive shot. The AMX just got taken out by one shot with the M5043. Uh, that could be GG because the battle has now swayed in their favor. And I believe that is eight points in their favor. If nothing happens now, Red Tide win via the eight point difference rule. So that was massive. Good job, the M40.
Well, there's something going on over in that house. It sounds like his uh, girlfriend's hurting herself or something. So we'll try and talk over that. Uh, muted his mic before, but there we go. The uh, the artillery took a shot, but I don't think he hits because that would have probably been in the death of him. But there you go, win. Uh, the end of Red Tide. Uh, no, the, sorry, the end of Kansas Creek there with Red Tide winning it with more than eight uh, points difference. That's seven plus one is eight, eight, and eight plus seven is more than eight, so that's a win.